Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the session. Hi Ajay, Dharmendra, Sonia and everyone else. Can you guys hear and see me? Legend Harshita, yes everybody. So how's it going for you guys? It's Tuesday morning, not even the mid of the week. Mm -hmm. Bhuvan Chandni. Okay, we are going to keep this session very short. Uh, because it's a short article that I got. So we are going to discuss the vegetative state. What exactly is the vegetative state, guys? Uh, see, when we talk about identity, uh, we come up with some things like, I don't want to vegetate. I don't want to be a sofa in your living room. I don't want to be the vegetable in the crisper. So what exactly is the vegetative state? The vegetative state is a period of sluggishness, no growth. Okay, the economy can be in a vegetative state. Fine, a relationship can be in a vegetative state and human beings, when they are chronically ill, they can be in a vegetative state. Okay, generally what happens when we talk about vegetative state, we get connected with euthanasia. Euthanasia is mercy killing. Aap sabko pata hai. Uh, coup de grace, it is called. C-O-U-P. Then D-E. Not E. D and then G-R-A-C-E. Coup de grace is what? Giving that final blow. That merciful killing. That is called euthanasia. E-U-T-H-A-N-A-S-I-A. -A -A. Why is euthanasia administered? It's administered to those patients who plead for it. Patients who are just alive for the sake of being alive. They have been terminally ill, something is wrong and then kind of like they are bedridden for many and many and many years. So we call those patients in vegetative state and then those people, those people plead for euthanasia, some people, some of them. So in some countries it is legal, in some countries it is not. Anyway, I have shown you the connection. So vegetative state is a period of no growth, zero growth, sluggishness, growing, living just like a vegetable. Okay, let's go over to the topic and find out what exactly it says. But before I take you there, over to the quick announcements. And yes, once again, people who join late, a very big, warm, uh, big and warm hello to all of you. This is your pursuit of verbalness. You'll enjoy the session. I promise you that. Now, this is Roadmap Batch for CAP 2025. We started it on March 31st as part of this batch course. I'm doing my RC consistent practice course. It happens on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 a.m. This morning we finished one. So if you're looking for some great RC practice, some consistent RC practice with brainstorming and good POE, that's process of elimination, you need to join my classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays as part of this batch course. You can be for 25, you can be for 24. It's okay. Practice is practice. Referral code is Shabana Life, so if you're a new learner, you can take that and get on board. We have UCST lined up for uh, uh, Sunday, April 21st, 12.30 and 5 p.m. Now, everybody, yes, 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 legend. It can be dormant state, it can be dominant, not dominant, it's dormant, D-O-R-M-A-N-T. Coma, yes, Tushar, that's coming up. Now see. When they coined the term vegetative state in 1972, long before you were born, the British neurosurgeon, so it's not a very old thing, comparatively recent. Okay, The British neurosurgeon Janet and his colleague Fred Plum were concerned with a new group of patients who were being kept alive by intensive care units opening in Europe and the United States. Vegetative state, the word was coined, the phrase was coined, and there were some patients that were being kept alive by intensive care units. Hospitals were. Take care. Those people were in the uh, uh, vegetative state. They were not able to move much, but they were alive. Their heart, wo heart was working. Their kidneys was wo were working. Their liver was working. So the vitals were fine. But then those people could not move. These patients maintained the essential functions of life independently. But did not respond consciously to things going on around. They could pee, right? They could go to the washroom maybe. Okay, that kind of movement was there maybe, but they were not responsive. They could not connect with you. They could not talk to you, right? So to things going on around them. This condition was distinct from coma. Now, the moment you read this point, 
Harshita, legend, Ma Manisha. The moment you read this, this was distinct. That's a question pocket because it's a comparison point. Okay. So this was distinct from what? From coma in that comatose people were both asleep and unresponsive. But in vegetative state, the people were awake, kehne ko awake, but they were unresponsive. Right? These new patients were unresponsive despite being biologically awake. They might show behaviors that to the inexperienced observer or hopeful family look like signs of recuperation. Oh yes, he is there. Okay, he'll come around in a few days. So for the hopeful family members or the inexperienced observer, these signs may look positive. Right? They, they, these people thought, the family members thought that, okay, these, uh, these patients are aware. They are kind of looking here and there. But actually their minds were blank. Grasping with their hands, eye movements that appeared to follow objects, withdrawal from noxious smells, chewing and teeth grinding, swallowing, scratching, weeping, or even moaning and crying out. But these were all, as echoed in their language, just reflexes. They were just reflexes. I mean, if you take their hand to some hot thing, okay, just reflex, reflexive action. What is reflexive, reflexive action? You automatically respond. You're not doing it because of your subconscious. You're not doing it because your brain is active. You're just doing it because it's a reflexive action, right? So the last line says it all. But these were all just reflexes. So this was the big difference between coma and vegetative state. Coma may they were asleep and unresponsive. Vegetative may they were awake yet unresponsive. To an observer, it might seem that these people are following certain things and these would look as hopeful signs for signs of recovery. But actually, these were just reflexes. Got it, guys. Now, why does the author mention coma? Right? It's not comma. If, you, if it's a new word for you guys, learn it. Coma. It's an unresponsive state when people are asleep. In deep sleep, they go. Okay. So, why does he mention coma? I'll take you over here now. The paragraph is again given on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have given you the options. Take a look. To point out how reflexes can be different from actual movements. Okay. To show how it differs from other similar states such as vegetative state. And the third one is to hint at the intensity of the vegetative state. Hang in there. Let me just reduce my size. Okay. It's better now. Yes, comatose is coma, Tushar. Okay? So look at the third option to hint at the intensity of the vegetative state and at the same time point out its differentiating element. Cool guys, take a look at all the three options. I'll wait for your answers. What do you say? Dudes. Mm -hmm. It says it was distinct from coma. So he's bringing in the example of coma. Is he trying to focus on coma? No. He's trying to focus on, he's trying to focus on vegetative state. <coughs> In order to explain this point of vegetative state, he's giving an example of coma. Right? So the spotlight is not on coma. That's why two is the first elimination. Some of you are going with two. That's the first elimination, guys. I'll repeat my point. Option two says to show how it differs, means coma differs from similar states such as vegetative state. No, he's not focusing on coma. To show how coma differs from other vegetative states, is he bringing in the example of coma for that? No, he's bringing in the example of coma to show something about the vegetative state, to discuss something about the vegetative state. Got it? So he's bringing in coma. 
option two puts the spotlight on coma that is eliminated got it it's between one and three and yes many of you got it yes it is three to hint at the intensity of the vegetative state hint okay he, he connects it to coma he says imagine in coma also this happens so socho kitna bhayanak hota hai this vegetative state and at the same time he wants to show the differentiating element between comatose and vegetative state that's why he brings in the example got it guys it is three now there's only one more paragraph you have to understand how this name came up while they were selecting what happened in seeking a name for this condition janet and plum considered a number of terms that already existed okay shanvi coma vigile apolic syndrome decorticate state but concluded eventually what that the new one was the most satisfactory so now in this paragraph the author takes us a little back and he shows us what kind of uh, discussion was going on when these researchers were coming up with a name when they were zeroing in on a suitable name for this what kind of topic what kind of discussion was there so they thought of this 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 but they said no our new one is the perfect one it is most satisfactory their instincts proved right there's a colon there pay attention now there's a colon akhila it says their instincts were right they said we are on the right track we are getting the right name and their instincts prove right what vegetative state was widely adopted in mainstream medicine mainstream medicine mbbs you know uh, pharma so in in this world the mainstream medicine vegetative state adopt kar liya gaya people started accepting this phrase readily today what today it is listed on the nhs website as one of the three main disorders of consciousness that is that result from brain injury along with coma and minimally conscious state so there are three such disorders and what are those those three disorders ye hai apna ek vegetative state then minimally conscious state and coma these three are listed on the nhs website as one of the three main disorders so this name was picked by the mainstream medicine world right now what is the take away point here what is the author trying to highlight in this paragraph this is what i want you guys to answer check is the author trying to show you that it results from brain injury is he trying to show you that the name has gained popularity is he trying to show you that the researchers were spot on Yes, Shanvi, Harshita, Fernandez, Tarmendra, Minakshi, Jitin, everyone else. What do you say? Ajay says one. Harshita says three. What is the takeaway point? Means simple language. Me, what is the crux of the paragraph? The first elimination is one. It results from brain injury. That is not what he is trying to drive home over here. okay he is not trying to prove that that it results from brain injury that can be another paragraph in which he will explain the cause and effect cool so the take away from this paragraph is not that it's between 2 and 3 number 2 says the name has gained popularity and 3 says the researchers were spot on that means the researchers were correct in their instincts cool but the main thing that he's trying i mean the whole crux of this paragraph is option 2 the name has gained popularity researchers were spot on comes under this okay so when i say what is the take away point here that means what is the author trying to drive home with the help of this point and that and this and that he's just trying to prove that this name picked up like this okay he says over there first they were arguing first they were not sure which name to pick then they said okay this is the most satisfactory okay then their instincts prove right how did it prove right it was adopted widely and today the most important point in the paragraph harshita and parth everybody is the today point 
today, comma. I have taught you this earlier also in any passage. If you have this today wala thing, that is important and it's a question pocket. So he says here today, it is listed on the NHS website. He's not, he's not trying to show that today vegetative disorder or like, you know, uh, this disease is popular. No, he says that this name has been accepted. It became popular. The name gained popularity and today it is listed on the website as one of the top three, whatever. So if the mainstream me, mainstream medicine people wanted, they could have put another name to it. They could have attached another name, but no, no, they accepted it and they kind of used it. This is what it is. So between two and three, it is two and three comes under it. Okay, the researchers were spot on. So it gained popularity or something of that sort. So that's a minor point. It's a minor thread, one of the things. Cool. Great. That brings us to the end of this session. Maybe you can do a little bit of Googling or YouTubing on the vegetative state. It's always interesting to acquire more knowledge and learn about concepts that you had earlier not heard of, right? So vegetative state, and you know what I would do? After YouTubing for a general description on vegetative state with pictures and some other explanations and all, I would also type on YouTube, Bollywood movies on vegetative state, Hollywood movies on vegetative state. Like um, I can remember off the top of my head, there was one Guzarish, Ashwari Rai and Hrithik Roshan in which Ashwari Rai was his nurse. And that patient played by Ritik Roshan was in a vegetative state. In, and he always used to beg for euthanasia. Okay, so do a little bit of Googling and YouTubing guys. Keep learning, keep rocking. I'm going to meet you later.